If you stay, stay, darling, stay in my corner, and I'll never, never let you down, honey, stay. I love you, so darling, stay, please, oh baby, good morning, good afternoon, good evening family, welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, this story kind of pierced my heart a little bit. And for those of y'all who thought it was a joke, Joe Smith reveals that his $61 million NBA fortune was reduced to just $3,000 amid his battle with depression. As he opens up on hard times weeks after going viral for his wife's OnlyFans reveal. I mean, a lot of people thought that was a joke. A lot of people, um, you know, <laughs> thought that they did it, as they say, did it for the gram. But, but obviously it was a real story that had real ramifications behind it. And like a lot of us, those diagnosed and undiagnosed, how can you not? battle with depression, especially if you live in America and you are black. Okay? Uh, add that to your family dynamics and everything else. And you can understand how he could play 16 years in the NBA with many different teams in the league, but not have that aspect of his personality addressed. He was almost out of money just years after retiring from the sport. This article came from the Daily Mail, y'all, and um, just check it out. I'm just going to read it. Ex-NBA player Joe Smith has revealed his fortune dwindled down to as little as $3,000 in 2018 after making $61 million throughout his lengthy NBA career. Smith, who has been in the headline of late due to the viral video of him finding out that his wife had an OnlyFans account. And that was the first, he was the first overall pick in the 1995 draft. Years after, though, his career wrapped up, he was struggling to make his ends meet as he battled with depression. And, um, now this came this is what he told Vlad TV. It was a very low point, Smith said. Like when I said I was in a deep, 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 deep depression. Like mentally messed up. I'm telling you, I was there. Um Smith who last played for the Lakers in 2011, also added that his NBA pension hasn't even kicked in yet. So he got a little bit more suffering to do. Oh, boy. The former NBA star was filmed by wife Keisha Chavez, or Chavez, as she told him, she had an OnlyFans page. There's a picture that they have. Uh, the former player also started an individual coaching business in 2015, he said. In 2018, though, Smith was featured in Back in the Game, a reality show hosted by none other than Alex Rodriguez. And um, while Smith said he doesn't regret doing appearing on the program, he thought it would have a greater impact on his life than it did. <clears throat> but
But he said he thought that they would help me. They said that they would. But once we finished shooting, that was it. I couldn't get in touch with anybody at the TV show. So I was kind of just left out to dry after that show aired. In the same interview, Smith insisted that the video of him finding out his wife, Keisha, um, went back into the X-rated business via OnlyFans. He said he was genuinely hurt and it wasn't a stunt. Because uh, a lot of people thought it was. A lot of people thought that it was a stunt. Um, that's be bullshit. That's fucked up, Keish. He is her saying, I can't believe I'm sitting here just finding out that you have an OnlyFans page after all these years? Wow. Speaking with Vlad after that vi uh, viral moment, he said, we don't understand the type of influence that we have around the world. You know, I haven't been in the media in a long time. And to be in for that, it was horrible. So, let me see. <laughs> Fuck me, or that's fucked up. It's not fucked up. Listen, it's not fucked up, and we're going to. Okay, look. So I have an OnlyFans page, and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course, I'm mad because he's just finding out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself. So why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, my body, my fucking choice? Joe, I've been talking to you about mad. I've been asking for solutions to shit. You're not giving me none, so I created one. That's no solution. Not in my book. That's no you solution. Knew, you knew who the fuck I was when you met me. Before. Before. Before, before yeah. Before, before, before yeah, I, I knew that. thought that I would never have to go back to anything like this again. Before, yeah, no, no, no. That's not the case after right that, now. After that, everything's supposed to change. Everything did change. No, 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 no. no. Obviously, everything. it No, it had to. I had obviously, to do something. It you stood out here showing your body. You act like that's the only thing that I do. I have mad jobs, but they're not facilitating everything that needs to be done. So I got something extra. Only fans be breaking me off. What the fuck? Come on, Keisha. It don't matter what they're breaking you off. It's the disrespect that comes with it. What you disrespect? You couldn't come and talk to me about it. Okay, well, we're talking about it now. You're going to have so. to find out on the fly. All right, then. But now, okay. No, so, I'm going to have to find out on the fly. But I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. And so? What happened? I'm just busy doing what I have to do, period. Like, that's bottom line. That's what it is. I don't know. In my opinion, that's the most disrespectful woman. Um in a relationship that I've, I've ever seen. I, I I can't even wrap my arms around no crazy shit like that. So I'm just going to leave it out there to y'all. Let me know what you think about it. And what do you think about Joe Smith opening up about his depression and his, um, in, in, you know, being honest about his emotional health and the things that, um you know, he's had to deal with. What y'all think about it? And then what do you think about Keisha? I mean, it is what it is. All right. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.